line and will uh, attack all nearby opponents and uh, you could sit back and watch what happens or take a more active role and uh, pause at any time and issue orders, things like that. Uh, so the combat is, is just one part of Knights of the Old Republic and, and it's handled pretty well. Uh, it looks impressive, especially the lightsaber duels. Um, and, and the third edition style D&D uh, &D rules actually do a pretty good job of, of uh, making this uh, feel like Star Wars. Uh, basically Jedi characters uh, seem really, really powerful in the game. Uh, they can deflect uh, blaster bolts uh, with, their, with their lightsabers and can uh, chop people up real good and um, basically use their powers to defeat, uh, you know, very large uh, parties of enemy characters, stuff like that. Uh, the, the combat is a pretty major part of the game. Uh, even if you play as a character who tries to talk his way out of situations, you'll still invariably get into some pretty big fights. Uh, but the combat is, is uh, entertaining to watch, uh, entertaining to be a part of, and, and uh, is handled quite well. Knights of the Old Republic is a long game. It'll take you like uh, 40 hours to play through start to finish, uh, give or take some. Uh, there, are, there are a whole lot of optional side quests, and then uh, there's plenty of replay value on top of that. You can start the whole game over as a different type of character, you know, picking different dialogue options, uh, traveling with different companions, and you'll have, you know, a, a substantially different experience in turn uh, as you play through the game. Um, it's, it's really uh, quite impressive how, how much uh, depth and how many kind of peripheral things uh, there are in the game uh, and and there's just no chance that you'll see everything the first time through even though you'll see a whole lot. The game's graphics are a little bit spotty. Uh, the character models look pretty good and you'll see them uh, making facial expressions and stuff like that in dialogue. Uh, they try to lip sync but it doesn't look totally convincing. Um, uh, but really the, the main issue with, with the graphics is that the frame rate is pretty inconsistent. It can stutter pretty noticeably during combat. Uh, and also the in-engine cutscenes that the game uh, sometimes and uh, thankfully not often uh, uses to advance the storyline actually look pretty bad. Uh, they, they look pretty stilted and, and stuff like that. But you know, generally when you're just running around and exploring the environments in the game, meeting the different characters, uh, the game looks great. It, it really looks quite good and uh, perhaps most importantly the lightsabers uh, just look spot on. They, they look exactly like they do in the movies and uh, clearly the, uh, the great fight scene towards the end of Star Wars Episode One really influenced uh, how the lightsaber battles look in this game. On the other hand, the audio is definitely one of the highlights of Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, in particular, the speech in the game is, is just really well done, and, and there is an incredible amount of it to boot. Uh, all the dialogue in the game is in full speech. I have no idea how many hours of dialogue uh, this must be. Uh, it's a whole lot. And, you know, again, this is a 40-hour game. Uh, much of which is spent in conversation, and then, um, you know, much of that conversation, most of that conversation, you won't even hear on your first time through since, uh, you know, since you'll get different responses out of characters depending on what you say. The aliens also speak in their native languages, though you'll start to notice that some of the alien dialogue does repeat. Uh, you'll, you'll just uh, get an ear for it after a while and kind of uh, maybe start to learn a, a bit of Wookiee or something over the course of the game. The sound effects themselves are pretty typical of Star Wars, but Bioware deserves credit for, for not just going with the kind of ubiquitous John Williams soundtrack for the musical score. Uh, it's great and everything, but we've all heard it a bazillion times before, and instead Knights of the Old Republic has an original musical score for the most part that sounds consistent with kind of the orchestral Star Wars sound and uh, kind of plays quietly in the background. So it's true that you could level a few criticisms at Knights of the Old Republic and how not all the graphics uh, look totally great and, and some aspects of the story you know, don't, don't seem perfectly plausible or something like that. But by and large this game is just extremely well done and, and presents you know, about as satisfying of a Star Wars role playing experience as you could probably imagine. Uh, there's just so much to see and to do in the game and uh, you truly feel a sense of freedom in uh, you know, uh, having your character go about different tasks differently. You don't just have to be good or have to be evil. You could be shades of gray and, you know, uh, depending on how you're feeling at the time, you, you choose, choose different options uh, that, that best suit you. And the whole theme of the game is about how, you know, Jedi are constantly in, in danger of falling to the dark side. And it works out really perfectly with the gameplay that, uh, that you're constantly 
uh, faced with these uh, really tempting uh, and kind of devilish dialogue options that, that most games really wouldn't dare give you, you know, mug an old man for his money, uh, things like that. Uh, you wouldn't expect this kind of behavior out of a Star Wars character, but this game lets you do it if, if you really want to. And if you're looking for a role-playing game for your Xbox, this uh, really is an obvious choice. Uh, likewise, if you're looking for a Star Wars game, but perhaps the best thing to be said about this game is that even if you're not or, or don't consider yourself to be a big fan of Star Wars or of role-playing games, that uh, playing Knights of the Old Republic, uh, you will more than likely appreciate this game's uh, really obviously good qualities and, and just the... Uh, obvious and, and sheer amount of effort and, and talent and work that went into this game. Uh, it, it's just really an impressive experience uh, by and large and, and uh, is easily recommendable to anyone who has an Xbox and uh, even to those uh, still on the fence on uh, whether or not to get the system.